Hi guys, welcome to the show where we discuss everything and everyone trending. Of course, it's trending brought to you by Airtel. My name is Nancy Isime. I'm your host as always. I go on a short break now. When I come back, the show begins. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Hi guys, welcome back to Trending brought to you by Airtel. Today on my hot set, I have the very talented, super good, super fly, super amazing... Adasa Kuke! Is anything like super good? Doesn't matter, it's a lingua. Yeah. I've, I've added it, so it's fine. Yeah, they so, understand. They are, they, you should understand, man. They know me. I say a lot of things that don't really make you know, right? Well, it's good to have you on the show, Mr. Thank Adasa you. Kuke. Are you good today? I'm alright. I'm good. I like him because he's very chill. This is not the first time he's on the show. It's at least your third time. Second time. Second time. Yeah. He's always very chilled, so I have to be the one. What's up? <laughs> you see, did you see that? He's like, oh, and he's like, oh, oh, oh Nancy, you're too. What did you drink or what did you eat? Someone has to have the energy. Now. I know, I'll have the energy. It's okay, it's my show, so don't worry, I'll get the energy. Tell me, what are you wearing today? What is the inspiration behind it? On our style update segment, of course. I'm wearing what fits. Right. And what I look good in. Right. What inspired you to look good today? Because I'm coming, I'm trend, trending, I'm going to be on TV. I don't want to look bad on TV. Exactly. Now, if you don't know, Mr. Dasakuki is a director, a video director. He's, of course, trying to migrate into other things like producing. Um, what else do you do apart from video directing? Okay. Um, content creation. Okay. Um, documentaries mm -hmm. for content and corporate mm -hmm. TV commercials. Okay. And some other non production related businesses. Mm. I know we were talking and you were looking at you were telling me you just might, you know, migrate into the film directing, uh, producing aspect of directing. Tell me, do you think that would suffice? Yes, it's it's always been in the plan okay. and um, it was just it's just the right timing where we're waiting for, but it's already in the works. Okay, the amazing part about directors and video directors is even directors, sometimes you never really know who they are, or you just know their names. Like when you say Adasa Kuki, you definitely know, you've seen his work. If you watch this station, definitely. But to put a face to the name today, if you're just watching him for the first time, um, it's such a pleasure to have you on the show. Pleasure's all. The pleasure's all. It's great. Now tell us, how long have you been directing? And what was it that made you go into directing? I've been making music videos and other kind of content mm -hmm. as a director for about seven years now. Okay. And um, it's born out of passion and mm -hmm. opportunity. Mm -hmm. I saw an opportunity in it mm -hmm. several years ago. Um, when I was, I used to work for your sponsors anyway, mm. at one time, and right. um, Airtel. When, when I left Airtel, I started a production company okay. called Squareball Media, Right. and um, that's what we've been pushing till now, but it's always been there, I've always been in entertainment, I've, I've always been creative, mm. so uh, at a particular point, about seven, eight years ago, I decided to harness that um, opportunity. Right, right. At the time you started, did you feel like you were too young to be um, a director? I wish I started a lot earlier. <laughs> not too young. I thought I was too old. Right, <laughs> so right. Not that I'm old or anything, but, you know, if, I, really if, I, had my way, mm -hmm. if I had my way, I would have, if everything was right, I would have started much earlier. Okay, amazing. Now let's talk about musical videos. Okay. Um, of recent. The quality has changed and it's been amazing. Like the change has been definitely positive. Um, what is what would you attribute this to? Competition. Right. Right. Um, the competition is fierce out there amongst mm. the artists themselves, mm. amongst the video directors, and everybody in the industry. Um, competition drives excellence. Right. There's competition with, with the music, with the promotion of the music. Mm -hmm with everything else and with um, Nigerian artists beginning to, with Nigerian music gaining acceptance right. across the world, mm. um, it brought up a need for the visuals to mm. be acceptable too. So I believe that need has driven the industry. Right, so is it really competition improve. amongst you guys or also competition with the international? Com competition 
amongst directors in okay. the country, okay. across the country and across the world. It's mm. competition to remain relevant locally right. Right. and for the artists to break into new markets. So tell us, what are the challenges of being um, a music video director? You know, in terms of equipment, funds, what challenges do you face on a daily basis? There are lots of challenges um, from locations right. to managing the budgets mm -hmm. to assembling and keeping a competent team. Right. The challenges every other business will face, mm. but in this aspect, mm. the things I've just mentioned, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they will, will always be there. Mm. So it's we just find a way to to get Go past on. them. Yeah. It can't be 100% perfect. Mm -hmm. But if we if we get 70 or 75, That's 80%. Good. Pretty good. Pretty That's good. good. Now the topic of the day is lack of recognition of video directors during award shows, you know, award shows, award competitions, whatever. Yeah. Um, do you agree that most award shows do not appreciate the efforts of musical directors in Nigeria especially? I would say I'm a bit uh, neutral on that. I mean, mm -hmm. every every sh award show now has mm -hmm. a best video director category. Right. It wasn't that way before. I think it's a, it has improved. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we should complain mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Every single award show, if you don't have a best video director or video of the year mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. category, then it's not com it's complete. So I think it's beginning to... Uh, mm. The recognition is starting to come. Mm. Uh, overall, if these shows are not primarily to celebrate videos, right. then you don't expect that mm. video directors will you know, have the forefront in the nom nominations. Okay. If, it's a, if it's an award mm -hmm. show that it's dedicated to videos, uh, then, I mean, it's video directors that have the day. Mm. So... Our role, specifically, is to put people in the limelight. It's right, right. Where, wherever we get the recognition, as, mm -hmm. li as little as we can get, we, mm. we will take it. Okay. As it's personally me, I'll take it. Right, right. Uh, but the aim of being a video director, mm -hmm. you don't, I don't think you become a video director for recognition. You just want to do what you love to do. Okay. And if it comes, it comes. If it comes, it comes. Talking about what you love to do, tell us, what um, are the benefits of a good video to the artist, to the song? Apart from promotion, of course it promotes it, but what mm. other benefits do you think a good video does to a song? I mean, a video is everything these days. Mm. Um, you say a picture is what a thousand words. Right. That's a picture. Mm -hmm. I imagine what a video is what. Mm. Right, it's it's a billion words. It's everything. Exactly. It video brands the artist. Mm -hmm. Video connects the music to the artist. Mm. A video is v videos are primarily responsible for creating the fan base. Right. You can have great songs, and your songs go around the world, mm. but they don't know who sang it, and it's the video. So the video is what actually makes the, turns the artist into uh, a business, makes the artist viable business-wise. Right. You understand? So when it comes video, to endorsements, influencing. Everything, everything. It's once branding. The video is responsible for branding, mm. first of all. There okay. are other mediums to brand, like, like your photos and all that. But right. videos are responsible for branding. Mm. Mm and your perception and imagery okay so it's critical nowadays if a song is released mm -hmm. and there's no video it's as if the song is not out yet right, right. so it's right now it's everything okay thank you very much for letting me know and letting us know but i'd like to know apart from you know best director categories when it okay. comes to award shows what other category do you think should be created especially for the crew because i believe i'm and i act so i know that there are a lot of people there's lights there's cameraman it's a dop 
there's a sound yeah. you know there's there's a lot of people that make for example this show is possible because of a lot of people that does the work behind the scenes it's not mm. just nancy there's a lot of people that are working right now to make sure that this show is successful um so what are the categories you think should be produced or should be created to appreciate the other people who work to make sure the video becomes a success first of all if it's a sh an award show that celebrates mm -hmm videos mm -hmm. if it's a music video award show okay then you can have all the rest okay. right but if it's just generally a music award show mm -hmm. you can't really go deep into deep, those ones. deep deep into those ones but okay. then again i think production managers producers mm -hmm. they need that was there the backbone mm -hmm. of everything they make it work they mm -hmm. put everything together then there should there should also be you know, a category for editing and color. Yeah, okay. it's very key. You could have a good, you could have good imagery, everything looking nice, and mm -hmm. editing and color totally kills it. Right. So that's something very important. Right. There right. should also be one category for styling. Oh, for real. They do a lot of work mm -hmm. for the imagery. If the, no matter how beautiful the picture is, if the subject is not is not looking good. You know, it it falls apart. Right. So, so styling, 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 makeup, and all those mm. beauty mm. is very important. They need to be recognized. Okay. Well, thank you very much for sharing. Mm. Um, shooting a movie in Lagos is pretty difficult because mm. I think everybody or oh, there's some guys who think that this Lagos, eh, this land that you are on, is our own. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Like you yeah. have to settle loss. Yeah. Um, amongst other factors. Yeah. Amongst, amongst many other factors. I'd like you to highlight at least two to three factors that um, affect the smooth sailing of a music video right here in Lagos. That's for the production. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. One location you, you stated already, mm -hmm. especially if you're shooting outdoors or in the streets or something, the owners of the area will definitely show up. <laughs> so you have to make arrangements for that. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it has to be factored in. Exactly. It must happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if they come, you, you see that you're performing a, a duty mm -hmm. to society. Right. Because they... <laughs> they will not let you go on at all. Well, it depends on how you handle it. Okay. Um, so that location... Yeah, there's, like, I will say in Lagos right now, because of the amount of productions going on, there's still a number of unused locations, mm -hmm. but those that are readily accessible almost have totally been exhausted. Right, right. So the visuals start to look the same. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, there's also, I think there's a gap in producing. Okay. Um, we need producers who know exactly what they're doing who are very proactive okay, okay. who can walk into places and get permits to shoot mm. in places that you otherwise i mean they're, they're beautiful places in nigeria to shoot mm -hmm. beautiful places we just need you know on the on the producing side people that can see these opportunities and go out and there go and go and get it so okay. that, and make them available okay okay amazing now um do you feel that most music video directors are more concerned about the quality of the videos than the content? I mean, you see some videos, they're really nice, they look amazing, but it's just shake bum bum. There's nothing wrong with shaking bum bum. Hmm. If, you don't, if you don't shake bum bum, who will shake it? Do you understand? It's nice. But of course, there's the goes demographic that believes that a video should educate more than it entertains yeah. and there goes the ones that think okay i want to be entertained i don't care about being enlightened okay. so what do you think you guys focus on more especially when it comes to commercializing your videos it depends on the budget okay. it depends on the song it depends mm -hmm. on the what the artist wants mm -hmm. depends on the artist's brand okay. depends on a lot of factors but for most a lot of times content is how will i say it is directly proportional to budgets right right so sometimes you have a big budget you can do more mm. you can shoot for two days you can shoot for three days just to make sure you get your content right you can add more 
elements to the video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but where there's a lack of adequate funding, mm -hmm. you can you just want to go straight and give them something simple. Right. And nice these days, um, for the past year or so, mm -hmm. there's been this past year plus there's been this vibe thing going on where mm -hmm. people people don't they just want to see something feel good okay. uh, they don't want they don't want to pay attention to watch a storyline mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. a music video they don't want to just want to see something for eye candy shots beautiful ladies beautiful mm -hmm. places cool guys you know and stuff like that mm -hmm. so that also sells that's a style right. that, that that works too it's right. so it's a lot of factors anyway okay okay amazing well thank you very much for sharing um, I'm gonna go on a short break now, but while we're at it, please enjoy the video of today. We'll be right back. Hi guys, welcome back to Trending, brought to you by Etel. I still have the amazing Adasa cookie on my hot seat. Um, he's very chilled, very laid back. You know, if you just if you're just joining us, you missed the interview section. Um, we're about to play some games right now. As you know, the first up is the fast fire question segment. What happens? I get to ask you a couple questions about yourself, basically. But you answer them under sixty seconds, approximately one minute. Okay, can I not answer any question at all? Like, well, let's see. Okay. I mean, you might want to let people know more about you. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, all right. Are you ready? Yep. Time starts now. Who's your favorite artist? Wonder Bunty. First video ever shot? Oh, um, can't remember the artist name right now. <laughs> what is your worst year ever? It's good, but I'll say 2016 it wasn't so good for me. Okay, do you love rice or fried rice? Fried rice. Favorite movie of all time? I don't have any. I like Fra a lot of them. Okay, favorite food? Kazi soup. Kazi. Ever had a one night stand? Oh. I went when, when I was much younger. I didn't even much Are you serious? Mm. Uh, this way that you're so chilled, you're like, hey, I'm that time for president. Are you sure you had? Think well or don't worry, let's move on. One thing you can never be caught doing? Pretending. Who was your mentor? Then. A lot of people. Life is my main mentor. No, no, not an individual. Okay, greatest fantasy? I haven't defined that yet. Ha, well, well. I, don't, I don't dwell in the, the fantasy world too much. I, okay. I just, I just like to face what's possible. Right, 60 seconds up. You are such a nerd. You're like, <laughs> But one night stand, mm, are you sure about this? You know what they say about very calm guys? Like, you guys are the worst. Is that true? Am I calm? I don't think I'm calm. You're very calm. You're like I don't very, think I'm calm. You're like, talk to me only when you have business proposals. Now that's me. <laughs> <laughs> you're a nerd. Definitely a nerd. Alright, uh, let's move on now to the tribe. What happens? I get to ask you a couple questions, social media abbreviation questions, and you mm. give me your full meanings. The best way you can. You try. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, first one up NBD. No idea. No idea. Do you want me to help you? Yeah, help me. No big deal. No big deal. Okay. Yes. FBF. Oh, follow back Friday or something. Follow back. FBF. No. It has I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Do you want me to help you? Yeah, help me. Just help me. Anyone I miss. Oh my gosh. You're meant to say, please help me. Help me. Oh, I, please I, I, help me. Please help me. Please, please help me. Help, 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 help me. Help me. Thank you very much. Okay. Flashback Friday. Flashback Friday. Yes. I get it now. No, you said back. Oh, flat back right there. Oh. Yes, yes, oh, Okay, yes. follow back. KFB. Kindly follow back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm sure you've seen that a lot. EME. No idea. 
Help me, please. <laughs> ask me anything. Oh, okay. Yes, ask me anything. Airline. It's a professional site. You got to get this one. LinkedIn or something. There you go. There you, you say go. you say the professional you better, site. Like, you better represent the nerds watching right now. Like yes, I'm LinkedIn. I'm not a nerd now. Right? Uh, yeah. Anyway, you see, I find I find the whole abbreviation funny. See, there's an attention deficit disorder problem. Oh my days! People, Do bring people, out your dictionary. No, people, Let me bring my people can't again. people can't pay attention. They can't even write full sentences anymore. Mm. Social media eats the brain. You have a point. I, think I it's say that it eats the brain. You see, people can't write normally again. They are abbreviating everything. Mm. But this, this, I think this has been going on for a while. Because even while I was like, or Instagram. I, there was some sites even before Facebook, like uh, yeah, there was gradually was coming, but now, write, yeah. but right now the it's abbreviations so are finding their way into everything else. Okay, I get it. I get. It. I'm not an abbreviation. You might receive person. an official letter with LOL at the end. You know? Nah. <laughs> oh my. Oh, oh, I'm I, you you understand? LOL. It's it's beginning to it's beginning to cross over into the real real world mm. and business, that where people abbreviate. But right. and, and I assume you understand. You have a point. So you some, just, people don't, some don't even know when they're, they're, doing, they're, they're doing, it. doing it. So you've had a way to just defend this fact that you only got two out of five. Nobody can even tell you now that this guy didn't get it. They're just like, what? Got they're, they're like, what? I got two. But two there about only I, one step. I tried though. You tried very well. Tried. Very, very well. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> enjoy this break, this commercial break. Um, we'll be right back and... And that's how we really some nasty comments. You don't want to miss this. Be right back. Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to Trending brought to you by Airtel. It is that part of the show that you love to hate or that you hate to love. Anyone, right? All right, guys, I'll give this to my guest. And that's a cookie. Please read and respond the best way you can. Okay, nasty comments. Anonymous. Mm -hmm. I don't like most of his videos. Same thing. Okay, that's what question one, right? Mm. Well, thank you. At least you've been watching. The aim is not to be ignored. You either like it or you hate it. Mm -hmm. If you hate it, it's successful. If you like it, it's successful. If you don't talk about it, it has failed. Amazing. So, thank you. At least you've been watching and you don't like it, that means it's successful. Thank you. Question two, anonymous again. Mm -hmm. All these directors are not creative. All of them doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. Um, all the songs are doing singing that sound in the same way. I mean, Shade. we just have to, you have to focus on the song, not because you want to be different, you now ignore the song. Right. So if all the songs are sounding the same way, it's natural that the videos will start looking the same way. Mm -hmm. So musicians, let's have variety, please, so that we can do our work. Wow, well, boo. Wow, well, boo. Well, thank you very much for sharing. Thank you very much right. for coming on the show today. You were such a great sport. Did you have fun on my show, as always? It was fun. It was fun. How fun was it? Rate it one to ten. Four. Never mind it. Ten. Four. What? You're not coming on my show again, Mr. That's a cookie. Please, please have me back. You know, no. Okay, just why you want to come back on the show that you had? You know why I did this now? Why? This last one to get you to talk like this. I just added a little more fun in the show. Okay. So you now have an eight. I now have an eight. So I have yeah, an your eight. reaction just brought up an eight. Mr. Dasa is too proud for me. I can't. He's too <laughs> arrogant. I don't like like arrogant people and me, we don't mix. I'm You're not gonna let me You give me four. I will come on this show. I will crash the show. Who is the next guest? I'm coming on the show. I will crash it. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Alrighty guys, enjoy the top five. I will be right back. Top 5 Richest Rappers in the World 2018 Number 5. Russell Simmons Net worth $350 million Russell Simmons is a notable producer, author, entrepreneur and rapper of the American descent. He is one of the founding members of Def Jam Recordings, a popular hip-hop record label. Besides, he is widely recognized as the CEO and manager of Rush Communications. Outside of music, Simmons has succeeded immensely on the entrepreneurship scene, particularly with the establishment of popular brands such as Tantris, Agilette Culture and Fat Farm. Regarding his wealth, Russell Simmons is estimated to be worth $350 million. Number 4. Master P. Net worth 
$375 million. Percy Robert Miller, who goes by the name Master P, is a renowned philanthropist, record producer, author, actor, and rapper. Previously, Master P made his Mac as a basketballer, but currently is acclaimed for his professionalism as an artist. Beside music, Master P has fashioned out massive success in entrepreneurship. Among other ventures, he serves as the CEO and owner of P. Miller Enterprises. Currently, Master P is reported with a net worth of $375 million, and it is believed that his diverse ventures place him comfortably among the world's richest rappers. Number 3. Dr. Dre Net Worth $740 million. Andre Young, who goes by the stage name Dr. Dre, is featured among the best and most successful people in the hip hop production. He has been in the game for long and fortunately, his experience and struggle have yielded massive wealth. Young's music career began many years back, precisely in the 1980s. The star rapper rose onto the rap floor as, as a member of NWA, but afterward, he moved with his career as a solo artist. He's the founder of Beat by Dr. Dre series that Apple acquired at the price of $1 billion some years back. At the moment, Andre Young is the world's third richest rapper for having gathered the net worth of $750 million. Number 2. Jay-Z Net Worth $810 million Sean Corey Carter coming second in this list of world's richest rappers, Jay-Z is one of the most prominent American superstars. Besides his music career as a prolific rapper, Jay-Z has made great wealth through entrepreneurship. Jay-Z, a native of Brooklyn, New York, is said to have accumulated immense wealth, giving them the net worth of $810 million. Meanwhile, it is often rumored that Jay-Z's immense wealth is mostly attributed to his mega investments, which span across nightclubs, record labels, and clothing outfits. Number 1. Diddy Net worth $820 million. Sean John Combs, who goes by the stage name Diddy, is the world's richest rapper for having amassed the colossal net worth $820 million. He is well recognized for his versatility, which spans across rapping, songwriting, acting, and producing. Although Sean Combs' massive success is mainly attributed to his music, the star rapper hustles outside of music as a shrewd entrepreneur, and this has boosted his wealth. Alrighty guys, it's a wrap. Thank you very much for joining me on this show today. Of course, my guest was Adasa Cookie. We had a lot to talk about. If you missed this show, you definitely missed a lot, but not to worry. You can join the conversation anyhow, anywho. Um, on Twitter at official hip TV, on Instagram, on Twitter rather at hip TV, on Instagram at official hip TV. You can also follow me on Instagram if you wish at Nancy is my official. Until I see your pretty faces next time, do not forget that I love you. But God loves you more. Goodbye.